Hello, Jeannie Cargill. Hello, Pascal. It's so good to see you. So good to see you. Oh, I, and so good to know that you'll be coming to Montreal to teach for uh, True North Insight. Well, I'm really excited to be coming because I love Montreal. Of course, I, I, I don't know if everyone knows I lived there for three winters. Well, I went to university at Concordia. And so I, I lived on the plateau and I loved it and I adored it. And in fact, I think that I went to a workshop, an atelier at the place that we'll be teaching. Yeah. That... I was a student. So I'll, it's, I'm really excited to be coming back. Wow. This will be at uh, Villa Saint-Martin. Uh, in September, uh, September 13th to 15th. So it's a, it's a weekend and it's a weekend on... Joy. <laughs> oh my God, I want to be there. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you will. <laughs> uh. And you know, Joy, Joy, Pascal, I know you know, we all know Joy is such an important, I, 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 I'm, I'm really loving this theme because there's such joy in the Dharma and joy can be, it's not like a framing it in the, in the Dharma way. It's not like a peak experience, Hollywood movie. It's a sustaining, nourishing joy that we can touch in our own hearts. And this is a refuge for us in these times of climate crisis, of war, of genocide. This is a refuge we can touch inside our own hearts and yeah. from there engage. And, you know, this is inspired a lot for me by my Métis community because the, I worked with a mentor for years and still do, even though he's not here on this physical plane. And... Although I'm a light-skinned Métis woman, my community, you know, over the last 150 years and longer has survived because of quiet joy. Quiet joy, wow. Survived because of, you know, through genocide, through colonialism, because they can touch, because we can touch. The elders teach us to touch this joy of community, this joy of nature, this quiet joy of you and you and us being together right now. And this is an inner wellspring that sustains us and allows us to engage in the world. So the, my Métis teachings are really, you know, married in, in this topic. Wow. Do you know what? I can totally feel it. The quiet joy, you're transmitting it as mm -hmm. we're, you know, as you're sharing about the retreat. It's so beautiful, so deep. And what I love is that, you know, this joy you're talking about, it's, uh, it's mixed with the suffering of the world, with the difficulties. So it's not like somebody wants to come on retreat. We'd have to be light these days. And, you know, like it, it's in the midst of everything that is happening. There's a possibility of joy. That's what I hear from you. Totally, totally right in the midst. And so we can bring everything that's happening in our hearts, everything that's happening in the world into this retreat. Beautiful. Mm. Wow. Who would you like to invite? Who can come to the retreat? Everybody. It's for everybody. Everybody. Uh, beginning practitioners will have instruction, you know, foundational instruction. Experienced practitioners will be touching awakening, will be touching enlightenment will be understanding some of the maps of awakening that include a pivotal role for joy. So we'll be learning some of that, that sutta, that understand, a deep understanding so everyone can come. And of course, everyone is welcome, you know, all ages, all abilities, all colors, all traditions, all uh, orientations, all genders, everyone is welcome. All parts of ourselves are welcome, yeah. all parts of the community. Wow, I'm so, so, so thankful and happy you'll be coming, Jeannie. You have so much to offer. Mm. So what a luck for us to, to have you. Mm, thank you. I feel very fortunate to be coming. Yeah. Great. Well, so we just wanted to say a few words about the retreat and then and see you in action, <laughs> you know, exchange. So I think it's a success. Great. Thank you so, so much. You're, you're very welcome. We'll see you soon. See you soon.